What's up everybody? Thanks for coming back. Choosing grass seed can be a pain in the butt. So today, I'm gonna show you what to look for when buying grass seed. Hey guys, don't forget to subscribe, tap the bell so you can get instant notifications on future videos, and always leave me a comment in the comment section. I always reply. All right, so let's get right to it. I had to move it indoors today because uh, last week's episode with the humic acid with all the bugs was just absolutely insane. And I apologize for that, guys. I had no clue it was that bad until I was editing the video. So this is my garage or a corner of it. It's kind of like my little corner. Got some uh, starter fur right there, an old backpack blower, humic DG, Melorganite, bag of sod seed, my logo, RVA Lawn Love, and then this, sod seed, turf grass, blue tag, always a good sign, certified weed free. You, anytime you see a seed mixture that has uh, blue tag certified seed like this, it's quality product. 9010 Tall Fescue Kentucky Bluegrass Sod. So this is sod seed. This is about as good as it gets. So we look on here. Now when you're looking at the seed tag, the seed label, this is the most important part of your seed, okay? Don't just go buy something because you know the name of it, you know? Like my brother-in-law one time went to his whole yard in Kentucky 31 because that was the only grass name that he knew. So now he's stuck with a whole yard of Kentucky 31. So don't be that guy, all right? All right, so what you got here is it's going to tell you the manufacturer at the top, you know, and who's distributing it. Lot number of the seed that it came out of, so that if you have a problem with it, you can contact whoever the seed is from. They can look up the lot number, and if they have other uh, problems with that, they can let you know. Then listed under here is going to be your cultivars or your uh, different types of grasses. So like I said, this is a 90-10 fescue bluegrass blend. So it has three different tall fescues and one Kentucky bluegrass in it. And here is how much the percentage of each seed is in the bag. So it's roughly 90% fescue, 10% bluegrass. So you got extreme green tall fescue, ATV 412 tall fescue, and Stetson 2 tall fescue. And the Shamrock Kentucky bluegrass. Uh, Shamrock is a great bluegrass, been around for a while. It's extremely aggressive and rapid repairing. Uh, which fescue is not, and these are not rhizomatous fescues. So fescue, anytime you have a hole in it or something like that, you need to reseed. The good thing about having this bluegrass in this mix is that can take over some of the bare spots and help fill in. Um, another good thing to look at, too, is your germination rates over here. 85 on the Kentucky bluegrass. I mean, that's a little, that's, that's kind of like the bottom of the limit right there, honestly. You want 85 or better. But anything, I mean, 85 is good, don't get me wrong but you want 85 or better, but that's minimum, that's guaranteed. So 85 and then 90 for the rest of them. And then the origin is Oregon. You see this is Oregon certified seed. So that's how you find out about that. That lists your individual cultivars. But wait, there's more, pay attention. Down here, this is the important part, right here. Most important part of this whole tag, all right? Now, I'll be honest. When I used to go and buy seed, anytime I needed seed, the first thing I would look at is the noxious weeds per pound, which is right here. The thread's kind of going through it. You can't read, but that's what it says. It's noxious weeds per pound. None found, okay? And I was thinking, hey, I'm, I'm, in, I'm in business now. I'm not going to have any dandelions. I'm not going to have any clover. I'm not going to have any crabgrass. But that's completely wrong because that is not what that is talking about. Noxious weeds are... Weeds, uh, every state has a different list of noxious weeds. For instance, Virginia has three tier one noxious weeds and five tier two noxious weeds. So eight altogether. And of all of them, I've only heard of one of them. And that's because they found it one time a month ago up in Spotsylvania County. And it made this kid blister all over his face and he went blind or something. It's called giant hogweed. So, but those are the noxious weeds. Crabgrass and Dallas grass and Johnson grass and torpedo grass and uh, Poa annua, Poa trivialis, all those, 
everything that we try to get out of our yards year by year, that's all listed right up here in other crop seeds. I always thought other crop seeds, I mean, like I said, just being honest, when I was younger, I thought other crop seeds was other kinds of grass that just happened to made it into the bag. I didn't think it was like other weed seeds. They don't print it like that. It's They say other crop seeds. So that is what that is for. And then any just straight weed seed meant to just fill in, none. So you got zero other crop seeds, zero weed seeds, and zero noxious weeds found. That is probably your most important part, and that is what they all stand for. Another good thing, date tested. You don't want to be using old crusty seed. This seed, this is August of 2018. This seed was tested in May of 2018, so very recently. And then it lists sell-by in all these different states. So, like I'm in Virginia, so by August of 19. So I've got a whole year to use this seed, basically, before they recommend using it by. So that's a lot you can learn from your seed label. It's true. There's still more. Jim, this is for you, buddy. Quick side note. I'm having a good time tonight. My kids are at the in-laws. Wife's out of town for a couple days. So what's a guy to do when he's home alone? Stay up all night making YouTube videos. What else was I going to say? And I've noticed as I'm getting older, I got the whole Forrest Whitaker thing going with my eyes. What the hell? Alright, so last week after the humic video, I had a comment from a gentleman named Jim Banville saying that he's seen multiple videos on humic acid and its benefits, yet he's never seen, like, side-by-side -side results of humic, you know, like, never seen somebody spray half their yard with humic for a year and leave the other half untreated for the year and show results every week side-by-side, -side, I think, is kind of what he's going for. So, you know, I've spent a lot of time and effort and money in my yard this year, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, do a full spread on Hay Hard with the Humic. I don't want to take the chance of it not working because I'm a believer. I believe it's going to work. So, uh, but, you know, I told Jim that we try to work something out to, to see so everybody can see. We can all see, you know, hell, why not, right? So, got two identical pots. I bought a bag of compost right here, fill it up with that, with each, take some of my side seed, sprinkle on top of each, one of them I'm going to put humic acid in, the other one I am not, and we're going to leave these outside, and these are going to be two little test plots, I'm going to trim them up and maintain them, water them, take care of them, all that kind of stuff, and uh, we'll know, we'll be able to see, side by side, how they're doing, you know, is one doing more than the other? You know, do they look the same? Is the one that's untreated doing better than the humic? You know, we'll find out. So, like I said, real live test right here, right in front of us. So, hey, subscribe. Make sure you subscribe so you can see the updates on this. And uh, so, we're calling this Jim's test. So, Jim, I hope you're watching, buddy. This one's for you.
All right, so here we go. One tablespoon of humic acid. I get the camera in here. It's the Humic DG. So there you go, humic acid in this one, but not in that one. I'm sorry, I'm having trouble pointing. I got the camera facing the wrong way, but I'm a market. Bright green spray paint is gonna be on the humic. So bright green is on the one with humic. So we all know for the test. I'm struggling holding the selfie stick. All right, so this is the one that was right here. This is the humic. See it all in there. Right, green stripe on it. Next, we add grass seed. So there you go. Even amounts of seed applied to each of them. And I finger, finger rake the seed in a little bit. And then I'll give it a brief water, set it outside, and then we'll just check on it day by day. All right, so there you go. I can put equal amounts of seed in each of them. I finger raked them in, so to kind of simulate raking the seed in, get good seed to soil contact. So I'm just gonna throw some water on them and set them outside. And then we'll just monitor them and see how they do. So, Jim, hope this works for you, man. You kind of told me to put my money where my mouth is, and I went out and I spent six bucks tonight for you. So, I hope that works. But that's all I got for you tonight, man. So, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button right up here. Maybe watch one of these videos over here. If you like this video, man, definitely give it a thumbs up. Um, hey, I'm open for suggestions. If anything that you guys think that I can make my channel better, because I do this for you guys, truly. So if there's anything you can think of that would help me out to help you out, let me know. You know, if you have any questions about grass seed, let me know. You know, do you have warm season grass? Is this see a thing about reading seed labels gonna work for you? Yes, it is. But if you have questions, let me know. I always respond. Till next time, guys, be safe. Peace.